so I guess around like, I feel like four or five, I think my mom just introduced me, you know, to a club team in Ironbound, New Jersey. Um, it's called Ironbound uh, Soccer Club, you know, and they just threw me in there. You know, I didn't really know much about it or, or anything about soccer. My family didn't grow up on soccer or anything like that. It was just a means to keep me active and busy. I really had no aspirations at all to play professionally. Uh, it was just something that I like playing with my friends and, you know, I just had fun doing that. But I guess going into college, I just wanted to, I guess, continue playing. You know, it just hit me at one point. I was going through, through something difficult during that time. And uh, I remember I'd committed to a D3 school and um, I was still playing with my club team during that summer. And um, I happened to have like a hat trick for my club team. It was like the last game of the season. I had a, literally had a hat trick for that. Yes, I played winger. <laughs> the senior hall coach at the time, Manny, he ended up wanting to talk to me after the game and um, he offered me uh, you know, a scholarship to go play over there. So, I mean, that was like a big turning point for me. And, you know, there was also, when I played with Seton Hall my freshman year, I had like a, I had a good game against Notre Dame. And then that's when the assistant coach came talking to me about like, you know, we had, there were US scouts looking at you and stuff like that. And, you know, they have their, their eye on you. So, you know, keep it up type of thing. And that was like a big eye opener for me. It was just like, okay, maybe I can do this. I also don't like working for anybody. So I don't like nine to fives or anything like that. So it was like, why not play? You know, if you have the opportunity to play, then just play if you can, you know? So that's really how it started for me. I just made sure that I was, you know, very hard working during practice, you know, don't complain, stuff like that. Just, just type of player to just get it done, you know? But um, uh, I'd never got drafted or anything like that. Never got invited to a combine or anything like that. To be honest, I always thought I was good enough to be drafted or MLS, but at the end of the year, I took the trip to Germany, uh, like a, like the fourth division over there. Um, I was there for like a week and I, it was just not for me, you know? So I came back, I came back, you know, and um, I had to take that road of a whole bunch of open trials. I chose Orlando over RGV. Um, I didn't make or uh, Orlando and then uh, next thing you know, you know, the RGV coach was was expecting to see me, you know, and um, during that time, but there was a lot of confusion about if I was going to go or not, so I opted to go to Orlando. So eventually I got a different opportunity, you know, took it upon myself to, you know, speak with the assistant coach at RGV. And he said, yeah, come on over, you know, uh, we'll, we still can look at you, you know, so thank God he, he let me come by and showcase myself. Um, yeah, from then on, I, I went over there, tried out, showed my stuff, and yeah, they signed me in March of, I think, 2017, I believe. Yeah, March 2017, and I settled in, and I was just like, I could be here with anybody, you know, at the end of the day. If you can play, you can play, and that's it. It was a lot of ups and downs, you know, with RGV. You know, I'm grateful that I had the opportunity with them um, for picking me up. Um, but yeah, I learned a lot my first year, you know, how to be a pro and what to expect. And I, I always told myself, I'll never go to Texas, <laughs> never go to Texas. But I mean, it was cool over there, you know, it was a different culture. I love the culture down there, but you know, I've had my, we were affiliated with Houston Dynamo. Um, you know, obviously if you play with RGV, you're trying to make it to the first team. At the end of the day, it didn't work out. So, um, yeah, I mean, I just, I took what I could from RGV and I uh, used it, you know, to move on to my next team. So I was coming from a, a very unique situation over at Oakland. Um, yeah, I'll leave that, leave it at that, you know, uh, but, you know, stuff happens, it's a business. I just gravitated towards Frank, you know what I mean? And he was such a player's coach and, you know, he really understood me, understood my situation. And as a player, you can't, you can't ask for anything else. Other than that, you know, very genuine. You know, Frank has been very transparent with me. Um, he just wants guys that work hard, you know, and that's that's probably the easiest thing you can do as a player, just work hard, you know. 
Um, so, I mean, he made it very easy for me to transition over here, you know, which I'm very grateful and thankful for that, along with the rest of the organization who made it, you know, very easy for me to, to come here, you know, especially with a, a child on the way and, and stuff like that with a wife also. So, yeah, that's how I, I made it over here. You know, we have a good group of guys and it, we've had a <laughs> roller coaster of a, se a season, to say the least, you know. Shout out to the fans who stayed, you know, through thick and thin, uh, because we've been, you know, we've, been, we've gone from like scoring bo boatloads of goals to leaking boatloads of goals to, you know, now we're, you know, defending more and getting a lot of clean sheets. And, you know, it, it's just been, you know, just been a big wave, you know, of emotions and results. and. You know, we're finally like turning the ship around at the right time, you know, because this could have been down all the way bad, you know, if we continued on that trend. But, you know, we're starting to, to figure it out right now. And, you know, it's a very exciting time. So and playing in front of the fans, it's like you just have that push. You know what I'm saying? You may be gassed at like the 70th minute, 75th minute. But, you know, you got the crowd cheering every time you make a crunching tackle or you know, a good, you whip in a good ball or a good opportunity comes, you know, that stuff matters, you know what I'm saying? And uh, a lot of away teams, they feel that, they feel that pressure as well, you know, it's, you know, demoralizing when you, you know, give up a goal here, you know, as an away team. And um, we, we, we sincerely appreciate the, the support of the fans, you know, that really gets us going and keeps us going.